Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 58 in chapter 4. In this system, this is still the art wood machine, right? And then we have two objects, number one and number two. So first thing we want to find is the acceleration. So we need to determine the acceleration for the lighter mass, and then its velocity as a moment. The heavier one hits the ground, and then we find the maximum height this lighter object reaches after the system is released. So let's do the analysis, see what happens. Because we see this one is a heavy one, this one is a lighter one. So of, when we release it, of course, the number one will move down, number two will up. Do you agree? So the acceleration is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction is for number one and number two. So the first thing we do the force analysis. For number two, we have gravity, we have the tension, and for number one, we have gravity, we have tension. So this is force analysis. And then we can write Newton's second law. Do you agree? So for part one, the, this one, we can see the number one acceleration is down, so m1g minus the tension equals mass one times acceleration. And for number two, is ft minus m2g equals m2 times acceleration. And then we can solve these two equations to get the acceleration for this system. And after we get the acceleration for this system, then this acceleration is before the number one hits the ground. And then when number one hits the ground, so number one hits the ground, number one comes to zero. Agree? And then number two comes to zero. Number two is at zero. And then we need to find its velocity, as this uh, hint tells us. So how can we find the uh, velocity? You can see we know the initial velocity when we released zero. Acceleration is given. We find it acceleration at zero. And the displacement window is 1.8 meter because this cable is connected. And this side, when number two hits the ground, the displacement number one moved is 1.8 meter. So number two moved is exactly 1.8 meter. Therefore, we can get the velocity at this point. Do you agree? Very easy. Use our favorite equation, this one, to get the velocity. So for part two, and when number one hit is ground, we can see then what happens? This uh, cable become loose. So the tension act on this cable becomes zero. Because when number one hit is ground, there is still velocity. This uh, number two will move up. When it move up, this cable don't act a force on it because the cable become loose, loose, right? So in this one, we can see the acceleration act on the number two is just a G acceleration due to gravity. And then we consider as the finally when it reaches to the peak, the velocity becomes zero. And and then the initial velocity for this case is this way. Do you agree? This way, velocity. Well, and then the displacement moved is the next one, how much it moved, acceleration is negative g. In this equation, we can find the delta y2. After we find delta y2, so delta y1 plus delta y2 is the total displacement the number two moves. See, this is how we do this calculation. First one, we find acceleration. After we find acceleration, we need to find the velocity. Uh, when number one just hit is ground, is the velocity for number two, so this way. After we get this velocity v, and then we can use our favorite equation to find the displacement for the absolute part, right? And then we add this delta y1, delta y2 together. This is total uh, displacement. This one moves. The number two moves. Thank you.